Hello beautiful Aquarius, my name is Donna. Welcome to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. We're going to jump into this beautiful reading and I hope you enjoy the speed shuffle. We see the overall energy that Spirit is bringing to the table is to tell you that you're going to be in your feels, Aquarius. A lot of emotionality coming up in the near future. We have Awakening Genius. Ooh, so what are you up to? Awakening Genius in your love life and life in general. And it is what it is, so don't try to make it what it isn't. So we're going to clarify this beautiful love reading for you, of course. But we see that the overall energy is the King of Cups, really feeling very very serene in your emotions, feeling confident that you can address any of the sort of perfect storm life issues that come up. We see that you love your person very deeply. They love you very deeply. Uh, there's a lot of, there's some complications here, but you know, you're going through a very transformative process, Aquarius. What we see here in the recent past is you and your person are very much on the same page. You share belief systems. You very much want and have a beautiful stability up to and including marriage or commitment in your relationship. The two of you are off on a brand new adventure. So it looks as though you're very open, you're very, you're anticipating fun, you're anticipating some obstacles, but you are off on a new life adventure together as a couple. Your person is very concerned about how things are going to unfold. They certainly want to have autonomy over their life in the relationship, but they definitely are willing to uh, work with you together to try to make things as good as it can possibly be. We do see that your person has a very strong desire to have a lot of control and a lot of power in making decisions in the relationship. That's going to be critical to their happiness and that in the relationship at this time. We see how they view you, Aquarius, the Sun card, Leo energy, the happiest card in the deck. They feel as though you bring joy, happiness, and sunshine into their lives. At this point in time, we see that your person feels worn out in their life circumstances, possibly with their job. It looks like the two of you are moving together. And the reason I say that is that the the reading is very much bookended by the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I feel as though they are on this new journey with you. You may be packing up and quite literally moving. They feel as though they've gone through way too many burdens in a work cycle. They definitely want something more fulfilling. And so we see both of you working very hard with this Libra energy to come to a logical solution so that the two of you can transcend, let go of old issues. And I don't even see this as very personal. I see this as being pretty circumstantial the way this is coming up. The two of you are letting go of the past. You're very much in love. You're on this beautiful adventure together. So let's see what the clarifiers say about this reading for you. About halfway or two thirds of the way through the reading, I do pull the energy of the nine or ten best aspects that your person really appreciates about you. So why do we have the King of Cups? The King of Cups is master of the ship. That's a captain of the ship, brings home the crew safely, even in a perfect storm. So what is that energy and what does it mean for you at this time? We see that the two of you have been very worried uh, very much up in your head about a lot of practical matters going on in the relationship. Empress Energy speaks to the fact that both of you want to create more abundance. Knight of Swords, you both have great clarity and the Princess of Swords to move forward to strike out for your personal truth to the storm that I see happening is that life as it's been is not the way you want it and you are virtually doing a makeover in the lives that you share together. Beautiful energy. Scorpio, very powerful. Two Scorpio, one Capricorn. You're very much quote-unquote hell-bent. But why do we have the Hierophant here? 
the two of you feel as though you have to travel together. When we look at this particular devil card, the two of you feel very bound together. You may have been together for a long time. It looks as though both of you need each other and want each other for this adventure. You feel uh, dependent upon one another with that devil energy. What else do we have about your long-term commitment? Four of coins, holding on to each other. You know, being somewhat possessive, <laughs> it's natural, right? In a relationship, the five of coins, both of you feeling as though you have to move on from an oppressive situation in the relationship that has to do with how you earn money, how you live day to day. The Fool card is this new adventure coming in and you are very invested. Both of you are invested. You don't know what the destiny is yet, the Seven of Coins, but it speaks very much to a joyful new beginning in which you are using your imagination to manifest, to imagine what you want, to create something of abundance for yourselves. Give us one more card, please, on this new situation. Queen of Pentacles. So, Aquarius, whoever the Queen of Pentacles energy is, you both mutually share this energy, so it is both of you. It speaks to the fact that both of you are very capable of nurturing the relationship, earning money for the relationship. It is the Capricorn Queen, very down to earth. So it does look like one of you may be moving for a job or a career, but certainly a better life. Why does your person feel so entangled and so enmeshed in the relationship, Princess of Pentacles? So they feel very much that the two of you are good planners, that um, the two of you create beautiful things together. They feel very tied to you. Judgment card, once again, judgment twice. Your person feels as though their happiness, their joyfulness, their ability to rebuild the lives that you share we have the emperor energy. So again, having a lot of authority, your person feels very much in your relationship that there's so much authenticity that they can be themselves and they have the authority to have a very good life with you that they have not, they've not had that energy with anyone else. So that's, that's why we get that devil energy. Both of you feel that way about one another. We get the Three of Wands. They see you as their ship that's arrived in the harbor. You represent to them everything about a happy future together. They see you as a person who is uh, powerful. You're good at making decisions. You're good at creating changes. You're very good at going after what you want. We see the loss of pleasure, the Ten of Wands energy, a very heavy work cycle has gone here. And look at the Fool card, going, walking in your direction, walking in towards you into this beautiful future that you are envisioning, that you are bringing to the table. I again feel like many of you are moving for a job-related situation. Princess of Cups, your person feels as though the two of you are walking into a happiness together in the future. You know, when we look at the Sun card and we look at the the Eight of Cups, that person is literally walking towards the sun. You represent this person's sun for them. So it's important for you to understand that they are walking to happiness with you. They feel as though you're sweet, you're kind, you're loving. You bring um, a lot of love to the table in a very gentle way, Aquarius. The Libra Queen is here. Both of you are being very logical locking your heart in a cage and making decisions that are very, very balanced to work together, to collaborate together, to create a life together that's very happy. You have great strength. You have fire in your belly. The two of you have a tremendous amount of fire in your belly to make everything work. Why do we have the judgment card here? Letting go of burdens from the past. We have your person with this judgment card also letting go of the burdens of their past to really uh, enjoy life with you, to move towards a relationship and a circumstance in which the two of you can thrive and be at your happiest and your best. 
Why is the Queen of Cups here? Look at that, Eight of Wands. You may be traveling to faraway destinations. The Eight of Wands is the energy very much of Sagittarius. It's, you know, seeking higher good, travel, going to foreign destinations, but always about lots of communication, lots of happiness, decisions, throwing caution to the winds, you know, really going for it. The Two of Swords says that there may be a slight delay in the process of carrying out these plans. It looks as though you're working towards it right now. And the Chariot card. So you may be picking up and moving in a couple of weeks for many of you, but it can be across town. It could be buying a home. It could be any advancement whatsoever, either locally or far away. But the two of you are in this divine, situation where you're keeping your patience, you're staying calm, you're staying calm, cool, collected, but you are driving quickly, very speedily towards what it is that you crave in this relationship. A lot of success is manifesting. So let's look and see now as we see the success of what's happening, how it's unfolding. Let's see what your person likes absolutely best about you, Aquarius. So tell us about what your person, Aquarius, feels about you. We're asking spirit. We see Queen of Pentacles. They love to see you in this nurturing, motherly mode. And both of you shared that earlier in the reading. Queen of Pentacles energy really speaking to the fact that both of you are powerful creators. We have Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. So they feel as though both of you bring that to the table. We have the Lover's card. They feel that you're a soulmate, that you understand them, that you get their uniqueness, that you see them for the beautiful person that they are and that you've chosen them. They love the fact that you do not, you're not rash. You don't make decisions without considering them, weighing and balancing those decisions. Your person likes the fact that you don't jump to conclusions. You take time. Nine of Wands, they love the fact that you have fire in your belly, that they see you as a strong person, that you don't give up, and that you have fire in your belly to make things work. The Eight of Pentacles, they love the fact that you're always willing to learn and master new information, Aquarius. They see your willingness to work hard for whatever you want is something for which they have great admiration for you. They also love the fact that you make these incredible changes. Aquarius, you know, you are the sign of Uranus, right? Uranus rules Aquarius. And your person is very shocked and surprised and in awe of the fact that you literally reinvent yourself, that you literally can just change your life in a very dramatic way through sheer willpower, through dedication, through nurturing, through having fire in your belly. They see you as an amazingly scorpionic energy who can always save the day and come out of the dark. The King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Your person sees very much that you are, again, very nurturing. You have good yin-yang energy. They see your masculine energy as being very benign, very powerful, beautiful, tender way of loving, and they love that about you. Your person also, Five of Pentacles, sees that when you encounter sadness or difficulties, that you literally take the time to figure out what the problem is. You're very practical in the way you move forward. Even if you have to move forward slowly, your person sees you as the fiery Queen of Wands. They see you as the Queen of Swords in terms of your intellectual ability to to just be logical, and then the fire in your belly and the passion you have for moving forward in life and bringing about manifesting your dreams. So your person is pretty awestruck. Seven of Wands, they feel very much that you can defend any action. They see you as a person who stands in their power, who stays in their power, and whom they respect so deeply. So sending you love from Chicago, send some back. Tell me what you think of this added section about what your person likes about you best. Tell me where you're from and comment, please. I always love to read the comments and I answer all of them. Hoping to see you in another video. Bye-bye. Take care.